Hi guys, Ronia from Phone Arena and we have the all new Asus Pad Phone Mini. You must have seen the Pad Phone. Um, so that was, uh, we've been covering it live from the version 1. So this is the latest generation or latest iteration of the Pad Phone, which is the Pad Phone Mini, which we first saw probably in uh, CES uh, 2014 in Las Vegas. So this is the Pad Phone Mini. Uh, so this is basically uh, a 7 inch tablet uh, plus a phone combo. The tablet won't work without the phone though so that's why it's called a pad phone so it says pad phone mini 2 in 1 set 4 in 4.3 inch screen to a 7 inch screen so this is a retail box currently on sale in uh, taiwan and we got it here for an unboxing and uh, has an 8 megapixel camera micro sd card slot and uh, uh, seems like also a dual sim device as well so 16 gb of inbuilt memory micro sd card slot and it's powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, 400 processor clocked at uh, 1.4 GHz quad core and uh, it has, has a 4.3 inch screen, 1400 mAh battery, all that we'll take a look once we open the box itself. So this is a retail box, so let's go ahead and open it up and uh, check. So this is a black color, it's available in three colors, uh, pink, silver and black, so this is a black color. So let's go ahead and open it up. Box has taken a lot of beating in the way to India, so that's why you have the dents there. So luckily the phone is all safe, and here we have the pad part of the pad phone, seven inch or pad phone mini station. So this is a pad phone mini station, and here we have the phone itself. So let's get this here. Wow, so that's pretty lightweight for a phone. Pretty uh, lightweight and compact, and uh, 4.3 inch screen. Feels like an iPhone and in terms of the size and weight so that's uh, the phone uh, of the pad phone mini uh, that's the pad phone mini so apart from that let's check this the imei sticker so you have the pad phone mini uh, instructions in chinese uh, as well as english so everything seems to be in uh, uh, chinese but you can actually make out of make you can make uh, out of this so you can make out that it's going to be sliding into the station the phone so that's how it works and so that's a uh, docking so there's nothing in english here so you have to skip this uh, this is a warranty and all that so let's put that aside let's check what else is here so you have an ac plug mm, 1.35 amp ampere charger this is, uh, this is like a us plug um, micro usb cable standard micro usb and then you have pretty decent looking uh, earphones uh, not i don't know if it's in here yes it is in your uh, earphones from uh, asus asus uh, branded ones also have earbuds different sizes mm, i think that's pretty much it uh, i think yeah that's pretty much it nothing else here in the box so let's put the box aside and get our hands on the devices itself so Let's quickly power on the phone and get rid of this plastic wrap on the outside. So that's the phone. Wow, it's pretty lightweight. It's a 4.3 inch uh, display. And uh, let's power it on as an 8 megapixel camera on the back and the LED flash and loudspeaker. So let's power it on. The battery is kind of sealed. I'm hoping this is a dual SIM version of the Pad Phone Mini because when ASUS launched the Pad Phone Mini, they said they're going to be making a dual sim version available and i'm hoping this is a dual sim uh, device considering it has a tablet as well so you can actually carry it along and also charge it uh, because the pad phone mini station charges the device as well when in, when it's docked it's taking a while to boot for the first boot so it says set up so it shows uh, in different languages so let's set it up in english wow there's an english india version as well so hopefully this phone is coming to India as well. So it needs uh, Wi-Fi. So let's try to connect or probably skip this step. Beautiful. So this is actually the dual SIM version. I'm so excited because uh, you can have two SIM cards uh, inside the device. So that's awesome. So I don't know why is it still showing it in uh, Chinese, the notification. Nice, uh, not the best screen out there, but for a phone, it's priced at about 25,000 or 30,000 rupees roughly for the phone plus tablet combo. So it's running on Android, uh, I think 4.3. Let's quickly check. It's running on Android 4.3. It's uh, 
the device and it's powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor running at 1.4 GHz quad core processor uh, 4.3 inch 960 by 540 QHD screen and uh, mm, that's about it so let's quickly take a look around the uh, hardware so you have the screen in the front earpiece front facing camera capacitive keys below the display back key home key and the menu key and on the back you have an 8 megapixel camera loudspeaker led flash the pad phone branding on the bottom so you have a proprietary uh, connector at the bottom uh, which is for the docking pins for the device but i'm thinking this might even take in the micro usb but i'm not sure so yeah there's a micro usb port separately as well over here for charging so that's pretty cool so just, and there's also a 3 mm audio jack on the top and on the right side you have the power lock switch volume rocker seems metallic and i'm not really sure how do you get the sim cards in there so i think you'll have to open the back cover so yeah the back cover is not sealed in this as you can see there's a groove here for opening the back cover i'm going to quickly trying to open it up and this I'm going to be not sure if i'm going to be breaking it so let's try yes it's actually opens so you can open the back cover i was wondering why you get the sim cards in so you can actually open the back cover it's plasticky so so wow the battery is also removable this is pretty cool for a uh, asus phone and none of the phones i've seen from asus have had a removable battery so you have access to the uh, micro sim card slots the uh, dual micro sims and you also have a micro sd card slot so this makes it a very very value for money phone uh, and uh, it's a camera as well and uh, so let's put this back just that the back cover is not i think the best in terms of the quality in terms of the material used so it feels a bit cheap the back cover so that's only the complaint so it's a dual sim device as you can see in here so you see two network bars and there's a dual sim card settings here so that's that so let's quickly get rid of this plastic wrap uh, on outside the tablet or the pad phone mini station and let's uh, put in the dock uh, like put the phone in the dock and dock it so this is how you actually do it so get the beep there wow so as you can see it's so awesome so your phone is now made into a tablet so it's basically a dual sim 7 inch tablet in your hands and you just saw that the switching time was kind of instant and uh, let's quickly try something now so let's quickly try a message here say hi phone arena readers so i'm typing this so not sure um, how do i get the cursor here so let's move the cursor here so hi phone arena readers this is well actually typing on this is also actually very nice because you have the nice real estate uh, of a seven inch uh, so this is what i'm typing i want to continue typing so i'm going to be pulling out the phone now let's see how much time it takes to switch barely a second but i'm not sure if the text is uh, still there i think the message didn't get saved something to do with the ui so the actually asus also changed the ui on the pad phone before it should be slightly different so i think let's try here so let's try uh so this is uh, something we are typing here so let's see if this is going to be saved at the moment we now this is draft here so let's see if it's going to be showing up in the full screen on the tablet now so that so yeah i think something to do with the ui and saving the message so now you can actually continue with this it was more easier in the previous ui could actually continue from wherever you are so let's see if this works now so i think auto complete is uh, in action um, i think it's going to take a while getting used to this uh, keyboard and pull out the phone let's see if the progress is saved yeah so the progress is saved as you can see here you've been typing and let me just add oh the phone is incredibly thin i'm not able to like kind of believe that this is such a thin phone i'm not sure what's the thickness of the device and the phone so uh, i think it's about uh, 
8.68 mm i'm not sure it feels thinner than that uh, so it feels really thin in the hand because of the curve here and towards the edges so 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 i'm striving this i'm going to be sliding it again into the tablet so let's see if the progress is saved now so yeah so as you can see you can continue the message now from the phone uh, or uh, from the tablet so let's try it with probably something else as well so probably let's go to the browser and it might open up the default screen so let's see if the same screen comes up on the phone as well so as you can see it's kind of instant the switch so actually the tablet does nothing but just project the phone using some mechanism and um, phone screen on the tablet so nothing tablet doesn't work standalone so that's something really important we need to mention uh, many people think the tablet might work individual like uh, standalone so that's not possible on the pad phone series uh, it would be cool if asus figures a way to do something like that but sadly nothing like that now as you can see there's a separate power button for the uh, uh, tablet itself and the volume rocker as well this looks like a micro usb but i'm not sure if the standard micro usb seems slightly different not sure if it's a micro usb or something else so let's we'll check that out so and let you know in the post but this is a loudspeaker as well so that you can enjoy your videos or calls so you can actually put this to your ear and also talk so as, as you can see this is a proprietary pins for docking the phone so that's about it so that was a quick uh, unboxing and first look at the first ever probably platform mini in india bringing you an unboxing of it and also we should be showing bringing you benchmarks and comparing it with the pad phone infinity and other pad phones the best thing about this for me is this is dual sim because uh, you when you're traveling this can be an ideal gadget because a dual sim and it actually is running on a qualcomm snapdragon 400 processor very similar to the motorola moto g which means that you can use 3g on any particular sim card at any point of time so you say you have your home sim card like say your atel or vodafone on your primary sim the second sim card is probably probably your country you're traveling to say you are in the us or you are in uh, Singapore and you want to use an AT&T SIM card or an M1 Singtel SIM card you can use that and on, you can be on 3G on the secondary SIM card and switch off data on the primary SIM card and you don't have to worry about roaming charges and still be connected with all your data without having to swap devices and without having to swap SIM cards and uh, that's a big problem uh, personally what I face when I travel is because I need a, I need a device but I don't want to be getting I don't want to be swapping devices I don't want to be moving around my sim card so this is in such a case of a device that's, that's another reason why i'm impressed with the motorola moto g as well because i might use it as a primary device because of that reason and the pad phone mini also kind of uh, brings in the same advantage to the table so that's pretty cool we'll be testing it out uh, and telling you how it works the, the dual sim feature on the pad phone uh, mini so yeah so that was it so do it a like if you like uh, the pad phone mini and uh, if you like this video and thanks for watching